The Lockheed L-2000 was an ambitious American project to create a supersonic passenger aircraft developed by Lockheed Corporation during the 1960s as part of the United States government's supersonic transport program. The goal was to build a commercial airliner faster and larger than the Anglo-French Concorde, capable of carrying 200 to 250 passengers at Mach 2.7 to 3.0 and ranges up to 4,000 miles, 7,400 kilometers. Lockheed began its research into supersonic passenger aircraft in the late 1950s, earlier than most competitors. Drawing on its experience from the F-104 Starfighter and SR-71 Blackbird, the company aimed to solve aerodynamic challenges, such as center of pressure shift during supersonic flight, through clever aerodynamic shaping rather than complex mechanical systems. Early models featured a canard layout and tapered wings, but extensive wind tunnel testing led to the adoption of a double delta wing with a twisted surface and thin profile, providing excellent lift and stability at high speeds. By 1963, Lockheed's L-2000 design competed directly with Boeing and North American aviation. The Lockheed proposal stood out for its simplicity, efficiency, and relatively low production risk. The L-2001 version measured 223 feet, 70 meters in length and seated around 170 passengers. Later iterations, the L-2002 and L-2007AB refined the aerodynamics, increased wing area, and optimized the fuselage shape. The final versions could carry up to 230 passengers with a lift-to-drag ratio of 8-1 using advanced Pratt & Whitney JTF-17 afterburning turbofan engines. The aircraft was to cruise at 76,000 feet, 23 kilometers, minimizing sonic boom intensity by accelerating to supersonic speed at high altitude. The L-2000 was structurally designed for speeds exceeding Mach 3, employing titanium alloys to withstand heating above 600 degrees Fahrenheit, 315 degrees Celsius. Its fixed delta wing offered rigidity without the weight penalties of Boeing's variable geometry concept. The nose was droopable for better visibility during takeoff and landing, and the landing gear borrowed proven components from commercial jets like the DC-8. Despite Lockheed's technological maturity and simpler production approach, the Federal Aviation Administration selected Boeing's 2707 design in 1966, considering it more advanced. Ironically, Boeing later abandoned its swing-wing design in favor of a Delta layout similar to Lockheed's. Both programs were ultimately canceled in 1971 when United States Congress ended funding due to environmental concerns, sonic boom complaints, and economic impracticalities. Although the Lockheed L-2000 never flew, its research significantly advanced American aerodynamics, materials science, and jet engine technology. Many concepts developed for the L-2000 influenced later high-speed aircraft, including reconnaissance planes and future supersonic transport studies. Today, the L-2000 remains a striking example of Cold War-era aviation ambition and engineering ingenuity, a vision of the supersonic age that never came to pass.